2905. You guys have been begging me to shoot another rifle in 7PRC, so today's video, that's what we're doing. We're going to be shooting a fierce CT rival in 7PRC with a 24 inch barrel. We are going to compare it to my Mossberg on velocities to see how much they vary. Here's the plan. First, we are going to test the 180 grain ELDM factory ammo from Hornady with a proclaimed velocity of 2975. My rifle is getting 2800 feet per second. We're going to see if this Fierce can get a little bit faster. I don't. If it does, I don't think it's going to be a huge difference. We're also going to see just how accurate it is in his gun, in the Fierce. We also will do some hand loads, starting with my Mossberg with the 175 ELDX. I had a lot of promise with velocity and accuracy when I shot it with an extremely hot barrel. So we're going to test it when it's not so hot. And then for the Fierce, we are going to do some 180 grain Burger VLD hunting ammo with H1000. So 66 and a half, 67 and 68 grains. We will test velocities and compare it again to my Mossberg. All right, I just pulled up to the range. Uh, I want to talk about some weather conditions. Earlier today, it was extremely windy, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. I was a little worried, but I now pulled up and there is zero wind. However, we did get some snow and it's around 40 degrees right now. So conditions are getting better and just only a little bit of snow. So hopefully the gun shoots really well today. What are you seeing? 2877. He was, except for me, and people could figure out. 2876. Good so far. It's pretty good. So far, his gun's shooting 76 feet per second faster than mine with the same factory ammo. So, pretty good. Let's see how it shoots now. Ready? Mm hmm. All right, yeah. Well, it's, it's as far as it goes, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Wyatt, you ready? Yep, go ahead. I think we're very well go a lot worse for you. It's more, it's more dangerous to make What's new? It's the Mossberg. It's just going to shoot one and a half to two inch groups. It is what it is, unfortunately. At least it's kind of going fast. 2940. Well, that's interesting. Right on the target? Helps to hit play. So, so it's going to have one in the chamber. <laughs> 67 grains did not shoot particularly well in the Fierce CT rival, so let's move on to 68 grains. First, we're going to test my Mossberg Patriot with 68 grains with the exact same bullet. Let's just see how close they really are in velocity. Twenty-eight sixty-seven. Great. Twenty-nine oh five. You're good to go. It was for a long time whenever Paul and I were You're good to go. It was for a long time whenever Paul and I were not bad, not bad. There you go, that's not bad at all. 
No, you're just making the windy. It was almost deceptive. It was Wow. It got slow in a year. Yeah. Or it's that second set of it, it might be. I don't know. It's slow. Well, it's still fast. You're using whatever bullet weight, whatever, mm -hmm. that gun size. So if you run, but do me a favor, if you're going to go down target on the next ceasefire, you But do me a favor, if you're going to go down target on the next ceasefire, you It's not bad. I forgot I had the 168 ABLRs and I believe this was 66 grains of H1000 and instead of shooting them out of my Mossberg I had them shot out of the Fierce and lo and behold we got a 0.833 inch group so there does seem to be some potential with the Fierce and the 168 ABLR so not too shabby. Okay back from the range that was a lot of fun. That Fierce Rifle is extremely nice and obviously shoots much better than my Mossberg. So let's start with the 180 grain ELDM factory ammo. I was surprised he was getting a bit more velocity than mine. I think if I remember correctly, it was like 2875 feet per second. Yeah, uh, the group is almost sub MOA, so not bad for factory ammo. And then while we're talking about factory ammo, let's look at the 175 ELDX. Uh, its average velocity was in the 2880s, I think. So this gun is consistently probably about 20 to 30 feet per second faster than mine. Uh, the group was, it was all right. Again, not too bad for factory ammo, but not exactly what we're looking for either. Okay, the first group was 66 and a half grains of H1000. Uh, it's not too shabby. A 0 0.920 inch group, so it is sub him away. Uh, we did not test velocity on this one. If I had to do my best guess, it'd be around 2850 feet per second. Now, before I show you the last group, what it measured, uh, we definitely took a chance with trying a new bullet with H1000. I just want to let you know that Fear CT Rival is a TAC driver with the 180 grain ELDM. His pet load is 63 and a half grains of H4831 SC. So it is a good shooting rifle. Unfortunately, uh, just didn't seem to like the 180 VLD with H1000. Now 67 grains didn't shoot well. That's not what I'm showing you here. This is 68 grains of H1000. We did get a velocity of just over 2900 feet per second and just barely sub MOA with a 0.955 inch group. Not bad. Obviously with how his other hand loads are, this combination of H1000 and 180 VLD, just not, it's just, his gun just doesn't really care for it that much. So if I was him, I'd just stick with the uh, H4831SC groups. You're good to go. Yeah, that's good half MOA. 